Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. Many visiting our site have asked whether there is any link between the lack of sleep and anxiety. Some people have reported experiencing their first panic attack after a night when they experienced a poor night's sleep. They state that their mind was essentially racing all night. We're not telling you this to suggest it was simply the lack of sleep causing their anxiety and panic attacks. Rather, we think that this information illustrates that sleep can have a very powerful influence on your moods. Consider, for instance, what the Division of Sleep Medicine at Harvard Medical School says in its article, Sleep and Mood. Studies have shown that even partial sleep deprivation has a significant effect on mood. University of Pennsylvania researchers found that subjects who were limited to only 4.5 hours of sleep a night for one week reported feeling more stressed, angry, sad, and mentally exhausted. When the subjects resumed normal sleep, they reported a dramatic improvement in mood. These researchers also state that anxiety increases agitation and arousal, which makes it hard to sleep. Stress also affects sleep by making the body aroused, awake, and alert. People who are under constant stress or who have abnormally exaggerated responses to stress tend to have sleep problems. However, there is hope. The Division of Sleep Medicine at Harvard Medical School says that addressing sleep problems can really make a difference. They state even if you do not have underlying sleep problems, taking steps to ensure adequate sleep will lead to improved mood and well-being. We also want to quickly mention some other benefits of sleep. Boosting the immune system. Maintaining a healthy weight. Helping you work and live more productively and interact more effectively with people positively influencing your physical and mental health. You might be asking, how can I get a good night's sleep? While there are plenty of resources out there that make similar suggestions, you really need to test what works for you. For example, conventional wisdom suggests that you should never read in bed or that the bedroom should only be ever used for sleeping. However, some people report that they can actually get to sleep more quickly by reading something before bed. But not just anything. You need to read something relatively boring. You obviously don't want to read a stimulating novel that makes you wonder what will happen at the every turn of every page. As stated earlier, many people having difficulty sleeping find their minds racing over something that happened or about things they are going to do on the next day. You find you can't stop thinking about something, then Telling yourself to stop thinking about it is unlikely to work. Instead, you might need to spend 5 to 20 minutes on this challenge and then you might be able to drop off to sleep much more easily. Let me provide an example. Let's say you are worried about your child and something that happened to her or him in school. You might not realistically be able to solve the entire problem in about 20 minutes. However, you might be able to make some progress on the issue. In other words, obtain a bit of closure. For example, you might set a plan to speak to someone or take some sort of action tomorrow. Perhaps you decide you will make an appointment to speak with your child's teacher. You see, once you obtain some finality by making some progress, you might find it easier to let go and know that you have a plan for tomorrow. Now, you might find it easier to go to sleep. Here are some other tips. Watch out for caffeine. Even one cup in the morning can affect some people. Again, you need to test this out yourself. Ensure that your room is quite dark because too much light can be very problematic for sleep. If light is a problem, then you might consider investing in a slumber mask which helps to block out light. Ensure you don't have too much noise in your room. If noise is an unavoidable problem, as it is for many folks in busy areas, then consider getting a white noise machine or 
a small sound that runs in the background. You can adjust to this consistent background noise while these things help block out other external noises. Also, ensure that your room is not too hot. A cool temperature is best for sleeping. If you awake in the night, then do not turn on the lights, but rather use a flashlight where feasible. Light affects a brain chemical called melatonin. Melatonin regulates your sleep-wake cycle, so having too much light will cause you to increase levels of melatonin, which begins to wake you up. This is the same process that happens naturally when the sun comes up and you begin to awaken. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and like our videos if they are helpful for you. Please feel free to share our videos with others who may benefit from them. Your communication is important to us. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Additionally, if you would like specific references to the research mentioned in this video or additional tips and information concerning anxiety, panic attack, and agoraphobia recovery, please visit our website and subscribe to our free newsletter at panicattackrecovery.com.